All right, I'm going to do the uh, male figure first. And I'm going to uh, give a slight bend in his legs. I got to put him on the horse, so I'm going to have to angle his feet out and bend his legs in a little bit. There we go. We'll adjust that as time goes by, I'm sure. I'm going to angle that foot out and uh, that leg in. Now, I'm just pre-arranging this right now. Uh, not without without the horse. And uh, not sure how I'm going to position him on the horse yet. But I want to get the armature at least covered in clay so that uh, I can start to position him on the horse. First, I better wipe off my board. I get these boards at uh, a local hardware store, or grocery store, or Kmart, or Walmart. Um, they're bamboo cutting boards, and I love them because... Clay has a tendency not to really stick to it. I think that I'm going to need my horse on my on here just to, so I can position the guy on it. I think I better do that now. Handle. And what I'm doing today, and I'm just going to talk about it briefly at the start of this video for YouTube, is I'm going to. I've got my two cameras set up. I got uh, one on the right and one on the left, and uh, it's both set up on my sculpting table so that uh, I won't lose uh, the uh, position. And my hands, if they're covering something, I can probably get it better from another angle. Um, you have to think out of the box when you're uh, making a video because. Uh, it's the only way you can do it. And one of the ways I, I sync the cameras is, you know, so that I got both cameras working at the exact same speed and on the uh, video is to uh, make a marker, which in this case will be three loud bangs. One. Now I just line up those uh, sharp uh, spikes in sound on the sound uh, uh, part of the uh, the audio part of the video and when I line up both videos uh, together so that uh, the sound spike lines up like that um, that automatically syncs both videos so that uh, I can uh, talk and switch videos and never lose a step. All right, I'm uh, just showing you what I'm working on today. Um, this is uh, the figure. I've got it started. I've uh, positioned him at a kind of a little twist on the horse. I uh, showed how I anchored him onto the horse and uh, how I applied the clay to just basically sketch in the uh, the figure on the horse. This way uh, I can uh, work on the figure on the horse and uh, I've got the clay already on the, the armature evenly on the armature and that way I don't have to get down inside there to get clay. I, the clay's already there. Uh, but anyway, that's what I basically did today was just attach him to the horse and uh, And I've got my cameras set up uh, uh, Differently than I normally do uh, because I want to show uh, Every angle that I'm working on uh, as best I can in this instructional DVD I'm, I decided to do the male figure first and uh, I'll do the female later She's going to be standing uh, here in front of the horse on this side. And uh, the reason why is because the horse's head is kind of t 
tilted that way and I'm going to angle the head just a little bit so that uh, it works more for the uh, what's going on and uh, I'm liking it I think it's going to I think it's going to work out just fine um, I've got to add about a half an inch to the base and I'll do that uh, probably next time so that I can put her on here but I'm going to wait till I get him sculpted before I do that and I may sculpt her separate from uh, the uh, the horse just so I can get her in the round it's it's hard to work on a figure when you got it up against something and you got to work behind it's not going to work so you got to kind of work on it separately uh, but I like the positioning of the uh, gentleman on the horse and uh, I know this might be making you dizzy looking at uh, the video on the other camera if I'm showing it to you right now I don't know how it's going to look in the video that's why I'm saying that all right that's uh, going to be it for today uh, talking about my instructional DVD on creating the male and female figure to go with your horse and this again is the horse that I created in uh, the instructional DVD set the two DVD set uh, on creating a horse from scratch now I'm going to probably screw up this horse pretty much while I'm working on this but uh, it should work out just fine it's a typical Mustang uh, structure of a horse is not a fat, uh, overly muscled uh, quarter horse uh, because that's not the kind of horse that uh, was out in the Old West. All right, everybody. See you next time. And uh, let's see. Am I in the picture? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> there I am. Good night, everybody, and I'll see you next time. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.